Mocha Bezirgan for Media Bezirgan here with Larry. Larry Heder was arrested by Calgary police for protesting a pride parade. Well, I, I call it shame parade, Calgary. Happens every Labor Day, every year. I've been down there the last six years, I believe, in one form or another. This time I went down with my bullhorn to join my preacher buddy that was already there. And when I began on the bullhorn, warning parents not to bring their kids uh, to this, that they were corrupting their own children. I warned them about child trafficking and the Sound of Freedom movie that I encourage people to go to. And uh, at that point, one policeman said, you better move on. And uh, I didn't, I just kept uh, talking and then the police car pulled up uh, with four officers and they came for me, uh, took my sign away, confiscated my bullhorn and uh, put me in the car where they took all my, my wallet and keys and whatnot. And they read me my rights and I wouldn't say yay or nay, I was silent and uh, was not cooperating with their information gathering. They already knew who I was, claimed that they had arrest warrants out for my name, which I doubt very much because we had dealt with all the tickets in court. Well, you weren't blocking the parade. You weren't uh, being disruptive. You were just voicing your opinion as you have been doing it for the last six years, right? So why was it different this time? Yeah, it was different this time because we went behind the lines of the start of the parade. We went into the marshalling area. It's supposed to start at 4th Street Southwest and we're at 5th Street. And all these people marshalling to their floats or their delegation were hearing this and it was unnerving them. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what you have to do when you throw salt on a festering wound, it, it smarts. Um, what have you been charged with? Uh, there's two counts of the public harassment bylaw. So apparently one says public interest, which indicates that the police laid that charge, and then maybe another private citizen mm -hmm. laid a charge on that count. And they added a phrase this last spring at city council, so anything that makes one feel uncomfortable, which is a totally interior phrase, nobody knows who's comfortable with what, okay. at what time, it's totally, uh, total jello uh, litigation. Mm -hmm. it, it moves anywhere you want to move it. Well, going forward, are you going to be discouraged from voicing your opinion in public space? Yeah, it's always hard to tell what they're going to come up with next, uh, as in other cases. They graduated from a public bylaw infraction, in other cases, to criminal harassment, which is absolutely ridiculous. But they are known to, to do this a few weeks later to graduate from civil infractions to criminal infractions. Uh, because they have evidence? No, because they can and nobody's going to call them to account for it. Well, to take a look at the bigger picture, I thought we lived in a free country where people with different opinions could express their opinions in public, not in Calgary? Yeah, this area of sexual um, proclivities has become the touchstone of all civil rights. And uh, this proclamation you can be whatever you want to be except a traditional Christian, Judeo-Christian uh, obeying person is become the touchstone. People are trying to hide their own sexual lives through taking the worst examples of transgenderism or homosexuality and saying, if I celebrate these people's uh, licentiousness, then nobody's going to look at my little old adultery or whatever. So this is really what's behind this. And I understand you're fighting some other tickets related to this matter. Are you also going to fi fight these harassment tickets? Oh, yes, definitely. We'll um, be contacting our lawyer and uh, 
this will be added on. It's I have one harassment ticket that he's working on already, and we'll add these two to that same court uh, challenge. Uh, the constitutionality of this is very questionable. If the judges accept this, then all hope of free speech in Calgary is, is absolutely evaporated. Last question. You were assaulted outside of a um, drag queen event, outside of a public library, on a public sidewalk. You were assaulted by one of the um, counter-protesters who were in support of the drag queen hour, and they assaulted you. Did the police press any charges against that individual? Well, of course not, because uh, they are working with Antifa, they're working with the opposition, and uh, they want to scare regular citizens by allowing uh, the opposition to do violent acts and hoping to use that as a break against us uh, expressing our civil liberties and our freedom of speech. 